The OSI model is composed of seven distinct layers, each with specific responsibilities and associated security concerns. Let's explore each layer, starting from the top. At the top of the OSI model is layer 7, the application layer. This layer interfaces directly with the user and provides essential network services like web browsing, email, and file transfers. Here, data is in its most understandable form. However, it's also vulnerable to attacks like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, XSS, distributed denial of service, DDoS, and buffer overflow. To protect this layer, application layer firewalls are commonly used. Key protocols include HTTP, FTP, SMTP, and DNS, which align with the application layer in the TCP IP model. Next, we have the presentation layer. This layer translates data between the application layer and the network, ensuring that information is presented in a readable format. This layer is also responsible for encryption and decryption. Attacks like SSL TLS attacks and man in the middle or MITM can occur at this layer. Application layer firewalls continue to provide protection, while protocols like SSL TLS and various file formats like JPEG, GIF, and MPEG operate here. Layer 5 is the session layer, which manages sessions and controls dialogues between computers. It ensures that sessions are established, maintained, and terminated properly. However, it can be targeted by session hijacking and remote procedure call or RPC attacks. Application layer firewalls are also effective here, with protocols like NetBIOS, PPTP, and RPC being used. Moving on to the transport layer, layer 4 ensures end-to-end -end communication, reliability, and data integrity between hosts. Here, data is organized into segments or datagrams. Threats like port scanning and sync flood attacks are common, but stateful firewalls are employed to monitor and control traffic flow. Protocols like TCP, UDP, and SCTP are vital at this layer, aligning with the transport layer in the TCP IP model. Layer 3, the network layer, manages logical addressing and routing of data packets across different networks. It's crucial for directing data to its destination, but is also vulnerable to IP spoofing and route injection attacks. Network layer firewalls protect this layer, and protocols such as IP, ICMP, IPsec, and ARP are fundamental. This corresponds to the Internet layer in the TCP IP model. Layer 2, the data link layer, handles error detection and correction while managing physical addressing through MAC addresses. This layer formats data into frames for transmission and is susceptible to attacks like ARP spoofing and MAC flooding. Layer 2 firewalls and MAC filtering are common defenses here, with Ethernet, PPP, VLAN, and Frame Relay being the primary protocols. It corresponds to the network interface or link layer in the TCP IP model. Finally, we reach the physical layer, layer 1, which is responsible for transmitting raw bit streams over the physical medium, such as cables and wireless signals. This layer is vulnerable to physical threats like wiretapping and signal interference. Physical firewalls and security measures are implemented to protect this layer, where technologies like Ethernet, DSL, and optical fiber are key. This is also part of the network interface or link layer in the TCP IP model. Understanding each layer of the OSI model is crucial for identifying and mitigating vulnerabilities within a network. By implementing the appropriate security measures at each layer, you can ensure a more secure and reliable communication process across your network.